President Vieira was pronounced dead at Bissau's main hospital. The renegade troops blamed the president for a Sunday bomb attack that killed the head of the military Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Batista Tagme Nawai. He was the president's main rival. Government and military leaders held an emergency meeting Monday following the president's death. The military said this was not a coup attempt and vowed to respect constitutional rule. That means National Assembly Speaker Raimundo Pereira takes power before elections within 60 days. The military says it's looking for the unidentified gunman. On Monday, Basau, the nation's capital, was calm. Military chiefs said they would not tolerate looting. Military spokesman Zamora Induta. Everything is calm. Everything is under control. There are no more signs of fighting or resistance. The president and general had survived assassination attempts in recent months. Induta said there is no connection between the president's assassination and Sunday's death of his rival. The military has long played a prominent role in Guinea-Bissau, with a series of coups and mutinies since independence from Portugal in 1974. Now, Guinea-Bissau faces more instability. The country is one of the world's poorest nations, with cashews as its main export crop. Instability has become worse as Latin American drug gangs using remote airstrips along the coast have been smuggling cocaine to Europe. From the West Africa Bureau in Dakar, Scott Stearns, VOA News.